Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and full live review for Barbershop Simulator VR, a game that was released on the Steam Store October 7th, 2022. It normally retails for $20. It officially supports all the major VR headsets. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. Now, you do have teleportation or full locomotion as well as snap turning available, I did turn the music off due to copyright concerns. And I've unlocked all the major stuff. There's still some stuff I haven't uh, unlocked, you know, de basically the decorations. And there's like a removal tool that I still haven't... Uh, there's an upgrade, one of the tools. Yeah, this hair magic wand that I haven't unlocked it. I don't see really, really see the point of that. That kind of undoes... If you make a mistake, it lets you undo what you did. I, I don't really see the point for that. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, and... Okay, we're not under the gun right now. Actually, what I should have done... This... Every time you start the game, it has like these little pop-up things here. To tell you what to do, but... Let's go ahead and give this guy's coffee. Funny enough, when you're cutting hair, you're pressed for time. But when you're washing hair, you're not pressed for time. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm not sure why there is a time limit to the hair cutting. But not to the washing, which is it's just... A, or to the coffee. So for the coffee and for... So this is the coffee part. As you see, they wanted coffee. I gave them coffee. This guy wanted a hair wash. So let's go ahead and wash his hair. It's pretty simple. So basically, though, you want to just make sure that you get everything wet like get everything like super wet you want to get it a hundred percent wet that's the key that's how you get a hundred percent that's the goal all right and once you get everything wet then you shampoo so just squirt on there you know you just want to Get the white stuff all over the face and the hair and just get it all all up in there. Okay. And then, ooh, ooh, the tracking. I almost lost tracking there. And then you kind of just want to scrub it all in. As much as you can. I am losing a little bit of tracking though, so I'm not sure. Okay, so there. And then you just want to wash it, get it all wet again. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, again, you want to 100% this. So, you want to make sure it gets all wet again. All wet. 100% wet. Okay. And then you want to get the towel and you want to dry it off. There, you can tell that you dried it off because it goes back to, like, a lighter shade. There you see. And we're kind of pressed for time, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time there. Although we probably did already spend too much time. So as you see, this is the hairstyle that this customer wants. It's pretty ugly, but we're going to do what the customer wants. So we, first of all, you make sure you have red. There's different colors, but we're going to choose red. And again, this is something that's very easy to get 100% on. So just make sure you get it all red. You don't want to get less than 100% on this. This is just a... Okay, there we go. So there we go. Get rid of this information thing here. And then the rest is make sure you use the right tool for the job. So he wants a full shave here. And it's pretty high up, so... And pretty much all the facial hair, except for the mustache. Now, in case you're wondering, you cannot cut the customer. So, you know, you cannot accidentally nick them. So this is definitely not realistic. Uh, this is pure arcade. Um, I guess my problem with this game is that it's not arcade enough. So since it's not realistic... You know, the haircutting 
physics, it's not bad, you know, it, it's okay for an arcade game, but if you're going to go arcade, if that's what you're going in all in on, then it should, uh, the whole gameplay should be based on being arcade. I think this developer tried to may maybe make it a little on the realistic side, and it just really doesn't work because it's, the physics just, the haircutting physics is just not really there for for a sim simulation type game. But the arcade just isn't uh, fun enough. It's just not zany enough for it to work as, as an arcade. Oh, come on. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't want to cut. <laughs> what's going on? I don't want to spend too much time there. Uh, I kind of feel like I wasted a lot of time there and I didn't get anything cut. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, the cutting physics isn't always accurate here. And there's sort of like a guide right here. I don't know if you can see it, but like a little shade, different shade for the scalp. But oh my god, some of this can be frustrating. Like I said, it's it's not realistic, but it's also not arcade enough, and it's just inconsistent enough to be a little bit on the frustrating side at times depending on your patience level. Definitely for me, I would say I got a little frustrated, especially, okay, oof. Okay, I don't know what, is, this, is that just me not looking at it right? Let me get the brush. Okay, yeah, it was just me. Okay, so I need the scissors there. Okay, there we go. And then he just points it up, I guess, right? So the rest is just brush. So again, let's get, in fact, let's get the blow dryer before we do that. So we want to get the blow dryer. We want to blow it out. Okay, so now we can get the hair up like he wants, right? And we still got some time. And, oh, let's, uh... Okay, there we go. I think we're good. And let's see what kind of score we get. So we're going to check out our score, begin our evaluation. Uh, we didn't... Wow, I thought we would get I thought we would get better on haircut and brush, but we really didn't. We got a silver medal, but we were looking for gold and we just didn't get it. But at least the money is good enough here, I guess. I know fifty dollars seems kind of cheap. Uh, actually, you can get a lot less money than that. Uh, so uh, let's do one more, and that'll be I'll call it a game after this, and I'll give you my full live review. Uh, okay, so I want to say this one uses the clipper. Oh, no, we, we made a mistake. We should have put the clipper there. So while we're doing that, okay, we want to change color to purple. So we made a mistake. We forgot to put our blade in the sanitary place. We definitely want to be sanitar sanitary in our little barber shop. We don't want any health code violations. So we can't make mistakes like that again. Okay. All right. I think that's good enough. Okay. Like I was saying, uh, I think it uses... Uh, what, do you, what does it use? Okay. I don't, I don't know what it uses. Let's just... Let's just... Uh, okay. So starting here... And then, does he use scissors or does he, I know back here it's, uh, it's the clipper. Oh, you know what, there was, I didn't color enough over here. That's fine, it's mostly gone, but I want to be careful. Uh, okay. 
Still got plenty of time, but I definitely want to hurry it up a little bit. Okay, and then I think it's scissors on top. What do you guys think? Scissors or this? It actually might be. It actually might be this. Okay, oof. And his brows, maybe? Okay, and... Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think it's just scissors for, the, for his uh, beard. Oops. So we want to hurry this up. Again, you can't nick him. You can't cut him. Um, this is... Uh, I think I showed all the gameplay already. It took me about two hours to unlock all the major stuff. All the stuff that I needed, really. So uh, there's normal mode and there's sandbox mode. Sandbox mode is when you unlock, unlock the stuff. Again, we need to, to be sanitary. And then we need to blow dry really quick. Okay. And then brush really quick. Ooh. Brush, brush, brush. Okay. I don't know if this is right. Does this look right to you guys? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. It looks like this was blowed right here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's begin our evaluation. Does that look right? Eh. Eh, okay. We got, how much money did we get? $32. In this econ, in, in this inflation? Wow, we're gonna go bankrupt with this. We, we're not making enough money. Wow. Okay, dude, that, I need to charge you twice the amount. <laughs> so, uh,. That's our let's play. Let me just talk about the game. Uh, like I said, you have full locomotion and teleportation available along with snap turning. Um, this is pure arcade cutting physics. It's not realistic. So on the arcade or sim side, this is arcade. But the problem is there's not enough zaniness. There's not enough crazy stuff to really be fun for an arcade. I, I think the developer made the physics arcade. But the gameplay kind of feels like a, like it was going for a sim, but it just didn't work. Uh, the unlocks, you know, there, there's only the washing station and the coffee machine, really. Uh, and then there's the air conditioning, which which I already have as well. And then you have the last thing, the undo tool. Other than that, you know, you can get a cleaning service to clean the place up. And you see, call somebody, they start cleaning, okay. But that's it. So the only... I already have all the unlocks. This is two hours in. I already have everything except for this hair magic wand, which I don't really want. Uh, and then you can do decorations. So let's, you know what? I really don't like the floor. So let's change the floor. Ah, uh, man. What, what can we do with the floor? We don't have enough money, though. Uh, we're, we're just going to go for the, let me see. Oh, man. All the good floors cost money. Ah, uh, well. This was really this was the default, and I think the default looks really ugly. <laughs> that's that's why I had to change it. Oh my god! Uh, let's let's just do this. Apply. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you know it's not the best, but it, at least it doesn't look ugly. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to the gameplay. You know the coffee. You just push the button and put it on their table. That's it. Now uh, there's not much to the washing station either. So there's just not a whole lot to this gameplay. You know, after about an hour of playing this, I, I was starting to get bored. Um, there's just not a satisfying gameplay loop here, at least not for me. Now, I could see some people having more fun with this than I did. And it is the best barbershop simulator in VR. You know, there's not a better hair salon, haircutting, 
simulation in VR. So I have to give props to the developer for that. He did make the best one that's been out so far, but I just feel like it's just not there yet. You know, the core gameplay just isn't a whole lot of, it's not a lot, not a lot of fun, not very exciting. Uh, I think it was going for arcade, but it just wasn't arcade enough. You know, you just need to go all out, you know, make even sillier haircuts, uh, you know, uh, have even sillier tools, you know, maybe even have like a blowtorch or something like that, you know, make it more interesting. Because uh, right now it's just not interesting enough. And if you're going to go for a simulation, then you have to, have to fix the haircutting for this. It has to be more more realistic because you know you're not going to learn how to be a real barber from playing this game um it's like i said it's all arcade cutting action and as you saw there i had some trouble cutting some off the hairs with the blade it just didn't want to cut for whatever reason and i lost tracking a few times which normally doesn't happen on my quest too so if i have to rate this game as is i would give it a six out of ten um it is the best but it's just not really all that fun at least it wasn't for me uh, this game is rated mostly positive on Steam, and I could see why. It's just, you know, there's not enough unlocks. You know, there's not, not a satisfying progression system. The core gameplay gets very repetitive real quick. And, you know, there's just not enough here, really. Uh, it's only $20, though, so it's not super expensive. But, you know, in VR, you just need something more exciting, um, and I think the developer obviously has the best game of its type, but sometimes that just isn't enough. And it, this is the case for this game where it's just not fun enough. And so that's why I'm only giving it a six out of 10. Others might enjoy it more. You might enjoy it more than I did. Um, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Barbershop Simulator VR and full live review. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe by the way i did turn off the music because i found it because I, I was afraid of, of a copyright violation copyright claim so that's the reason you didn't hear any music but it normally it there normally is music playing in this game anyways i'm fast lawyer hope you enjoyed my video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day and goodbye